Hello there, so this is version 3 or 0 0.03, let's do it. And basically this has got a crossfade with the wheel, a mouse click, and it'll go on to the next one, and each slide has got a crossfade out if you wait long enough, then left click, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, then right click, get you back. I've put a buffer at the first page so you can just start the spacebar, get you forwards. And negative, get you back. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so it's just the crossfade functionality, really. Um, so, how to do it? Well, I've had to add a canvas and a UI system, so right click UI uh, and I added the image. We have to access some of the image functions, one of the image functions is crossfade. Uh, so in the script, uh, in scripts, slideshow three, you drag that onto canvas. I've also created a game object called Slideshow 3 just to make it easy to make a prefab, which is also available in your package. You just drag the prefab in and you're ready to go. If you want to build it yourself, <coughs> you use the, you, you make an image which automatically creates a canvas and event system. And in the canvas, you drag the script, Slideshow 3, and then image is this image here. So you drag that image into there. And that links them together so you know you can access it, all those functions so you can basically sticking images into there and it will run put them into there. Now <clears throat> I've had to use change them all to sprites, so effect the folder called sprites. And there are post the images. I was using uh, draw texture for version one, but for version three, I've skipped the version because that's all prototypey. But for version 3, it's going to be um, as a sprite 2D with pivot at the top left. I've done that because I was getting some weird mid texture problems in the middle. Um, so, yeah, you select all your images. You, you copy your images. I'm using PNGs because Unity doesn't like, Package Manager doesn't like, JPEGs is a lossy format. But you can use any graphics you like. You right click. Open folder, show and explorer, sprites, you paste them all in there, but copy paste, I put all these ping images in, and then you select them all and then change them to two to the UI sprites. And that allows us to use transparency on them. And uh and we drag them into the script. I'm sure there's a way I can do a folder at a time, but I've forgotten how to do that now. Uh, so drag them in, and that's your basically your slides. Each one of them, which is your, your sprite array. You've got your fade time. You can adjust how long you want it to fade in and out from. And you've got actually the fade finish probably needs to be made private. You don't to see that. And toggles running probably and. Let those be private. Uh, but the timer, that's how long it will take between going from fading to fade out. I think at 10 seconds it's display time. And that's different from fade time. So it fades in for 2 seconds, holds it for 8 seconds, and then fades out. <coughs> and if you hit your mouse button, it will move into the next slide and do the same for each second. Uh, so the keys were, I think I can just, I'm not going to change the code now, but I would change that to five, but probably something to do the next one. Um, yeah, image crossfade alpha, one to make it visible, zero to make it fade it out, uh, fade time, and then use, uh, use your own own time measure rather than the built-in time. So it's false means you use the built-in timing. And 
tube means I think we use something there. And then we've got image one, that's the name of the image reference. I put image one and then we've got a spike array. It's the simplest I could think of. Uh, dot canvas render for dot set alpha brackets, not equal brackets, and that will set the alpha to zero to start with. So you can start from nothing. And a little note on that. I set the the camera to go to solid colour and I made a dark blue, purple blue colour as the background. Uh, so it's gonna that's the starting position. So you don't see any of this stuff in the sky or ground building. Uh, yeah, I think that's the screen space overlay. The image size, that's something made it for that one with zero 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 borders so it can make it fit the screen and best. Where I put how much of it goes through the screen. It's in there somewhere. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, what else to talk about? Uh, again, got an escape key to get out. Or mouse button down one zero is left mouse click. If we move it forward one, we check if it's greater than the array length. If it is, we yeah. So we we, we wrap over to back to zero again. So if we get some to the end, we can hit uh, we go to zero. You could change that to can't kind of to equal this right length so that it just hits the end image and stays there which is pretty much what I did the other way around when it goes back 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 current image minus minus and eventually uh, when it's less than zero equals zero so you go back to the start zero start we've got fade in the fade function is set the alpha to zero Set sprite array to the next image or current image. Timer one remaining. Timer one remaining equals timer one. Timer one is running equals two. So you just set that up. Just restart the timer, the fade timer, <coughs> and start it going again. Start fading in again. And then once it's faded in, it'll hold it for a few seconds and it'll fade out. Yeah. Pretty simple, but uh, hope it's of use to someone. I know it's going to be of use to me. <laughs> <laughs>